and on the screen now i will let the clock do all the talking in terms of where the screen is and there you go 87 points higher for the nifty the market breadth absolutely picture perfect for every one stock which is going down eight stocks are going higher that's the so it's a new high great market breadth solid comeback from the tuesday's low and uh, now you are going through a patch where nobody wants to sell fi's are back di's have abundance cash retail was always there and the fact that lot of the, your two digit stocks lot of momentum dominated stocks are moving higher that is a clear endorsement and a clear indication of how the market in a sense now seems to be going through what could be called as the form of factor yeah absolutely a bunch of stocks which are in focus and news as well we've been flagging off m and m after its uh, investor day that even though the takeaways have been positive the management commentary is very bullish and you'll hear it out from anisha shortly uh, but yeah brokerages have had no choice but to up their targets even though they've changed some of them at least their ratings to uh, sell uh, given the kind of one way street up that m&m has been 2979 although the stock has already hit that 30 3000 mark adani enterprises has shot up very well about a 2.5% uh, or one and a half i stand corrected kind of uptick is what you're seeing on the stock adani ports holding up very well technology made some sporadic moves here and there infosys holding up tcs down about 7 tenths of a percent i also want to see what interglobe aviation is up to in trade uh, the market share of course has risen all the way to 61.6% no one was debating that this is the market leader in any case they've amended the agreement uh, with pn uh, uh, pn w for their engine issues uh, compensation now bharti which has managed to prepay about 7900 or crore rupees the high cost spectrum liabilities to the department of telecom now for 2012 as well as 2015 this is on retrospective basis by the way adani enterprises the promoters have now increased stake uh, by uh, another 2% now to 73.95% to be precise so 2.5% higher for adani enterprises as we speak right now hal the news flow continues to be positive defense ministry has issued a request for proposal to procure, procure about 156 light combat helicopters so that stock should be shooting up this morning this rbnl as well which has emerged as a uh, one of the lowest bidders for a project worth about 160 odd crore rupees for east coast railway and then paytm and zomato both those stocks is well in focus uh, paytm is in talks for a potential sale of its entertainment business or to be specific the movie ticketing business to zomato uh, there is no binding agreement yet and both the parties say that the conversations are pretty much at an initial stage so yes a fresh all time high for the nifty on et now's 15th birthday if you like this video then like share and subscribe to et now